Hi everyone, today I will be discussing my food science research project on nanofibers as sensors for potential food packaging. Food packaging is very important because it can dictate the greatest quality of freshness within the food. Food packaging has a reoccurring problem known to be food spoilage. When food packaging becomes inadequate, it then allows for the food to begin to spoil. This spoiled food is then sold in markets and becomes a health risk. When food begins to decompose, it releases a foul ammonia smell, and this is known to be the release of biogenic amines. A biogenic amine is a decarboxylation of amino acids and usually occurs when the meat is being exposed to an excess amount of light, heat, or air. For example, histidine is located within the food. As it interacts with light, heat, or air, it will lose a carbon dioxide and release histamine gas, which is one of the most common biogenic amines released from food. Consuming biogenic amines can be very toxic. It can cause food poisoning, allergic reaction, and hypertension. To reduce the possibility of consuming biogenic amines, a nanomaterial was created to sense biogenic amines when being released by the spoiling food. The material chosen was a novelty nanofiber. Nanofibers have received a lot of attention due to the span of functionality it has obtained. Nanofibers have a high porosity as well as strength and flexibility, which have been used for applications in areas of medical, electrical, and optical technology. These fibers were created using the force spinner, which allowed for a larger amount of the nanofiber sensor to be produced. Nanofibers have become a very versatile material that can also hold its structure paired with the appropriate polymer. When choosing to use the nanofiber as a sensor, we realized it must be implemented to the food packaging so that it could sense in real time. For the consumer, it is best to make the sensor visible so that they may evaluate what state the food is in. The material opted was to be color metric. Knowingly, a polydiacylene would be the best fit. Polydiacylene is known for its great optical properties in regards to sensing change in chemical, temperature, or pH. Polydiacylene is known to have a color metric change from a blue hue to a red hue, but in order for the polydiacylene to be at an active sensing material, it must first be stimulated by a UV lamp. The UV lamp first alters the structure of the conjugated polymer, having what is called a 1-4 addition reaction. This thermodynamic state is very stable and will not allow time to affect the material. When exposing the PDA fiber with the UV lamp, you will achieve the active state known to be the blue hue. The ultimate goal was to have a sensor equivalence to the pH paper, but for food. So if the sensor were to be implemented into the food packaging, it would enable the customer or the seller to distinguish according to the color whether the food is spoiled or not. Preliminary tests were studied on the fiber by seeing if the colorimetric change would happen when it was exposed to the amines. It was found that the amines did affect the nanofiber, changing it into a red color. When exposing the amines to the nanofiber, it resulted that the amines were causing a mechanical change. This was due to the alteration of the pi electrons when the amines interacted with the carbonyls in the polydiacylene structure. This success then allowed for the material to be tested in real-time food spoilage. The fiber was then encapsulated with four different types of spoiling food known to be pork, meat, fish, and poultry. Spoiling meat usually releases amines in parts per billion, but still very dangerous to us when consuming it. As you can see, the color change of the fiber from blue to red was due to the gradual increase in concentration of the amines. The exposure of the food to the nanofiber was successful to an extent of parts per million. Although the nanofiber senses at parts per million, this nanofiber has the potential to be a very effective in food packaging for real-time sensing. This can decrease the amount of food spoiled sold on a daily basis, solving the underlying issue.